This is the S500 printer fully assembled. In the back we have the power cable, the ethernet jack, the USB port, which I'm not too sure what it's for because this printer doesn't support USB, and the power switch and the two fans. In the front we have the LCD panel, and in this panel we have some options we can move the we can, this is where we level our printer. We have other settings that we can use. The settings tab will display either English or other languages. The network tab will show you your routers, well, the printer's IP address. And then you take that number, type it into your web browser, and you should be able to access Nano DLP from there. So overall, it is a sturdy printer build quality is good doesn't feel cheap or anything like that the only issue I had with this plexiglass door is that the hinges that are provided you kind of have to they have to be lightly tightened otherwise this door will hit against the bottom and it won't close properly. So that was really the only issue I had with the assembly is these door hinges right here. Inside we have the build plate with the relief holes and the vat at the bottom. On the right side and in the front we have two screws adjustable by an allen key. This thread is secured on with a nut in the washer but you don't exactly necessarily need it now the issue when leveling this printer is that this metal piece back here tends to bend and it doesn't allow the sensor to be properly inserted into a sensor located in the back next to the z-axis so right here where this red light is shining on my finger is where that metal piece will fall in and trigger the sensor for it to stop so i've always had issues with that getting stuck on the side somewhere and jamming and the z-axis motor keeps trying to push it down but it won't go any farther because this metal piece back here is stuck and so i, I had to power out the printer loosen these two screws here raise the metal clip retighten it and then try to level it again and it's a very annoying process if it gets stuck on you you can't necessarily see it because the vat's installed but when I remove the vat you'll see how that one sensor can, can get in the way The vat is easily removed by these two screws. So I'm just going to take out the vat, remove the vat. It's a little hard to get into this area but here's the vat and so it looks pretty transparent but there are some cloudy spots but that's probably just because of my bad cleaning uh, so now with the vat removed we can level the printer And the first step to leveling this printer is to loosen the two screws for the ball jump. Now this thread 
in order for this printer to level this thread right here that screws into the bell plate has to you have to um, screw it in very lightly it doesn't go you don't want to screw it in all the way to the bottom of the bell plate Helen Orbi D100 printer um, it has a similar mechanism but that one does when it lowers into the vat that one does have plenty of plate on this thread right here on this one hardly any so it's having a lot of issues leveling the bell plate when I first got it because I was screwing in this thread too much into the bell plate that it didn't it wouldn't let it lower enough and then it just wouldn't let me level so I'm gonna go grab a piece of paper and I'm gonna loosen these screws I have my sheet of A4 paper and I'm just gonna put it onto the base and now I'm gonna loosen those screws so they are different sized allen wrenches just gotta know which one fits into which hole So that one is loose, and I will try to loosen this one. Yeah, it was this one. And so everything is now loose and ready to be leveled. So from the LCD screen, we're going to hit the control, and then we're going to hit that home button in the middle. That'll make sure that. Uh, the z-axis drops to the very bottom at the same time you want to make sure that the printer is level wherever you have it set up so I had to use these um, craft sticks kind of like to level out the printer itself so that's a very important step is to level the printer first on the table and then do the leveling process from there so I'm gonna hit that home button and hopefully I get to show you what can happen with this metal sensor with this metal piece dropping into the sensor so I'm just gonna hit home and now the printer is homing itself the build plate is dropping Once it reaches the bottom, the printer should raise and then lower itself back down slowly. Okay, so you can kind of maneuver this printer, this bell plate, and there um, it's leveled. And just adjust manually the angle just to make sure it's straight. 